My name is Benjamin Hadley. I'm the strength and conditioning coach for the Phoenix Mercury. I work with the players in strength training, corrective therapy, and conditioning. I'm going to give you three core exercises that you can do that are easy to do. Uh, we're going to use Candice Dupree. She's a forward with the Phoenix Mercury. Our first exercise is going to be the ab crunch. What she's going to do is lie down with her abs bent at a 90 degree angle, hands behind her head. And all she's going to do is bring her shoulder blades off the ground, crunching about 30 degrees, and then shoulder blades right back down to the ground. And that's and we're not we're not flexing the hips, we're simply just crunching the abdominal, the rectus abdominis. So the next core exercise we're going to do is called bird dog. And what Candace is going to do is she's going to get on all fours and we're going to do alternating arm and leg reaches. So right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Go ahead and reach out. And the, and the objective here is to maintain a straight hips, straight shoulders, and a neutral spine. She's going to hold for about five to seven seconds, bring it down, and then we're going to alternate. Left arm, right leg, there we go. Again, we're trying to keep these hips parallel to the shoulders. It's good. This is good for the low back, it's good for the glutes, and as well as the transverse abdominals. Okay, the third core training movement that we're going to do is called a side plank. There's a couple of variations to the side plank. The first one we're going to do is from the knees. Alright, so Candace is going to put her weight on her forearm and we're going to start with the knees. So go ahead and bend your knees 90 degrees and, we'll, and what we're looking for is the torso and legs to be in line. So you're going to push your hips forward so your torso and legs are in line and we're just going to elevate the hips and we got this straight line here. This is, the, this is the easy version. Now a more difficult version is a, a plank on the feet. So the feet are going to be stacked. Go ahead and extend out. You're going to lift the hips up. And you could hold this movement for, for a, a period of time, depending on how long you can hold it. Or we can actually do hip lifts. So go ahead and do some hip lifts on these. Just a side plank hip lift. And these are extraordinarily good for working lateral hips as well as the obliques. If you're wondering how many of these exercises to do, how many repetitions, you're just going to go to fatigue or near fatigue and it's going to be very specific to the individual. Some people may be able to do even two or three sets of each exercise.